look, the midfield has been an issue for what feels like 10 years. Um, Hendry, I said at the start of last season, there's something there with Hendry. He's a good player, but I'm not sure what he does in this team. He was sort of invisible and he really kicked on and he started proving, um, you know, I don't think the ability's ever been in doubt with Hendry. Um, he just wasn't affecting the games enough for me. Um, he is, he, and then he had that purple patch and he was, you know, the fantastic assist at Wrexham. He started scoring goals. So I think there's something to build on there. We need somebody in the Jay Spearing mould, for sure. Um, a sort of destroyer in there. I don't think we've ever replaced him since he left. Um, you know, we've we've gone through Paul Lewis a couple of times. He's not really done anything. Um, you know, we, we've not, Chris Merry again, I, I think Merry's a good player. I, I thought when he came, first came to the club that he would be that destroyer. He could break up play and give it to the ball players. Hasn't really worked out. Um, I think Brad Walker is an excellent passer of the football. I think what you want him to do is you want him to get on the ball in deep areas and pick out his passes. But you've got to give him a platform to do that. And we've got to win the ball back. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say Brad Walker's the type of guy who's going to go crunched into tackles and win the ball back. And Hendry certainly isn't that. So we lack that profile in that midfield. Um, again, you, you hear names in the summer of that type of that type of player. And I really hope that's you know the type of player we go for. Um, because I, I think it's vital. Uh who, it, who that could be, I don't know. But we need we. You, you wouldn't. You, a lot of managers will say you win and lose games in, mid, in the middle of the park. Um, and ours has been like a sieve for a long time. Um, too many times I see teams just waltz through the midfield, um, centre backs exposed, and and you, and it, you know that's probably one of the reasons why we conceded so many goals last year. So midfield, Matt, totally with you. Um, yeah, it has to be addressed. Maybe even a couple of players in that midfield um, because Walker will get injured. Um, I think that's inevitable. Um, I just hope he doesn't get injured as frequently and as long as he has been, but he will get injured. He'll pick up injuries at some point. Hendry's proved to be quite durable, which is another plus point for him, which is great. Um, but then you're looking at them to, you know, Connor Jennings, you know, I'd rather have him advanced. Um, you know, in, I, I don't really want him, I don't really want him in the, cent the centre of the park. Um, I'd rather have him advanced, but I think you could put him in goal and he'd do a job. Um, so yeah, midfield for sure. Hawks, I, I, I'd be stunned if he's if he's there. Um, he he's at a stage in his career now where you know he didn't really look particularly happy with the announcement video when he signed his new deal. He needs to be playing games. I don't think Adkins is going to start him week in week out, which is what he needs because I don't think he trusts him defensively. I've got my own criticism of that decision. Um, personally, I I think Hawks is the type of guy you can develop, and he scores goals. Um, for too long. Certainly in recent years, Tranmere have struggled to do that. So I want players in my team that can score goals and he can. That's a debate for a different day, perhaps. Morris, loads of ability. Good season last year, got goals. Um, maybe blows hot and cold. Again, he, he divides opinion. A lot of people think he, he's not consistent enough. Um, and you've just said Dennis there. And the, you know, and I think you, you're right. Maybe that is one of the reasons some of the players were there. Maybe Adkins has said, you know, to their agents and then, you know, can you look for other clubs? My worry is Dennis is, I presume, on a pretty decent contract here for a man of his age. Who's going to come in? You know, for, for, for Christian Dennis at, at this stage of his career, you know, you're probably looking at maybe non-league now. Does he want to drop down to non-league? I'm, I'm pretty sure location will be a factor for him. Will he want to take a, a big wage cut to join whoever it might be? This is, and this these are, these are the issues. And that's why I say cautiously optimistic because I don't think it's, it's a done deal that we're going to suddenly turn into this great team and, and have a great squad. I think there's a there's a lot to sort out. I mean, we haven't even discussed style of play, Matt. I mean, we talk about Norris. What's going to happen to style of play now? Because we had great success as this sort of high counter-pressing team, pressing from the front when Norris wasn't there. And it was really effective. You know, sort of the, the panacea of that was the the um, the Notts County game on New Year's Day when we pressed them all over the pitch. And they just couldn't breathe. And Norris came back into the side and you have to adjust. It's more, he can pin centre-backs in, we go longer. And I think, you know, one of the problems with that, as good as Norris is, is you know, as, as holding it up and, and winning fouls and stuff, is it, it does encourage some of our defenders to not use Hendry and Walker and bypass them. So they're spending all the game, you know, doing that over their heads. And I don't want that. I want them on the ball. So, you know, there's there's lots of sort of equations there and lots of things to consider. Um 
but but yeah, it, it, there's difficult conversations to be had. I think you know maybe the club's been proactive for once and actually got these guys under contract, you know, without the intention of sort of keeping them, so we can get some sort of fee for them. I, you know, I think Hawks would have interest for sure. I think there'd be clubs in our league certainly who would, who would take a chance on him for a, for a, for a nominal transfer fee. I think he's a, he's still young, ish, you know, and he's proven at this level that he can be a good player and score goals. I definitely think there'd be people in for him. I think Dennis, you'll struggle to to to, to move him on. You know, you you might have to just try and maybe come to a mutual agreement and somebody can take up the rest of his wages. You're not going to get any fee for him at this stage. Um, yeah, so. So yeah, so the, the eleven is fine. It, it's not an eleven that would excite me because, it, like you just said, we've seen it all all before. It's not an eleven that I would think, you know, oh, you know, we've got a, we've got a really good chance here. It, it's sort of an eleven that would probably be similar along, have a couple, have good days and bad days. We we need we need that we need that quality, and I think you've seen, you know, I mean, even Wimbledon have made two really good signings in the last week. I think there's there's clubs moving. Um, I think Wimbledon, Doncaster. Um, you know, Gillingham, you know, they recently signed Nevitt. I think they're going to have a go this year. I think Chessfield will have a go. Um, you know, can we compete with the likes of them for certain players? That's my concern. Um, you know, and and I think I think what will make or break the season, Matt, is who we sign in midfield to be that enforcer, how we replace Apter, and who we sign up front. You know, if we're going to go with two into partner Norris. Um, those are the three real, for me, key areas we have to get right. You know, have to sign in fullbacks is all well and good, and that's fine. And you know, to challenge Wood and O'Connor, fine. But who's going to be the real? You know, who are we looking at when it's nil nil or one nil down at home to Bromley in October? Who, who, who are we looking at to say, right, it's on you now? Um, you know, give you the ball, we'll do something because week after week after week last year, that was after, and everyone knew it was. And they double up on him, and he'd still he'd still score, get a, a, a massive assist, and. I'm not again. I'm not saying we can replace that. We can't, but we need we need that sort of quality because with that quality last year, we still came. What was it, sixteenth? So with with most of the names you've just mentioned, so and we and we haven't got that quality at the moment. So it's clear what we need. Can we do it? Is is another question. 